What's up guys, Headphones Neil here with my first horror film review for October 2020. And no, I don't have a fancy name for like Horror October or anything like that. Basically, mostly because it would be awkward and I didn't think of anything clever. So for this first movie of the movie review of the month, I wanted to review 2005's Alone in the Dark. The movie is streaming on Amazon Prime at the time of this recording. It stars Christian Slater as um, Carnby and Tara Reid as uh, uh, assistant archaeologist, uh, museum curator, kind of like that kind of role. And essentially it is a movie based on a video game of the same name where um, Christian Slater's character plays a supernatural or paranormal detective. If it was a movie based on his just those that information alone I probably would have been more interested in the film because it kind of merges or takes the idea of Indiana Jones and the Mayan culture and adds the paranormal element it kind of becomes what Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull could have been but when in execution and because it's tried to the game it doesn't really execute much of anything very well um it brings in a few elements of the video game like um the um random objects to pick up and um themes of horror and that sort of thing um you have also the characters having kind of motions and movements kind of like what you see in the video games but beyond that um that's really all there is for to it i mean not the characters don't even spend a lot of time alone in the dark which um would have helped it a little bit more. There were a few time instances where random characters were alone in the dark, but that's about it. I mean, you, by the end of the movie, I was kind of questioning what why the what the name of the movie had to do with anything in the movie itself. Um, if it was um, a movie by any other name, it would have been a good prequel to a movie like I Am Legend to explain what happened to all the people in the I Am Legend universe. But beyond that... I couldn't really find a good reason to get into the film. The acting by the characters was pretty two-dimensional and like basically moving from one item to the next and that's about it. Um, I think the only real character development that I liked might have been the villain um, because he was as the head of the, um, the boarding house and things like that and or the boarding house and then by the end of it, um, having wanted to find the key to open the um, portal from hell or whatever it was, that kind of made for an intriguing storyline. But then the characters themselves spent too much of the movie not knowing what's going on and having to get somewhere. And granted, they did have other characters to help move the plot along, but they didn't. They, there were times when it felt like it was going too slowly and then too fast. And overall, it just didn't feel like a movie I could get myself into. Granted, they only had a runtime of about an hour and a half, but maybe a good half an hour extra of character development moving the story along, more believable acting would have made the movie a little bit better. Um, and maybe even a little bit more detective work, because they did have uh, bits and pieces of um, history and knowledge and things like that but then Indiana Jones did that a lot better so if they had copied I want to say any of the first three Indiana Jones ones, or even the fourth one and instead of the crystal skull they have the object from the other object from the Mayan legend then it would have been a infinitely greater film than even Kingdom of the Crystal Skull because as it turns out um, it tur that object is was a doorway to open a gateway from hell and that would have been a good replacement for the crystal skull and having Carnby and Terror, basically Christian Slater's character and Tara Reed's character be the ones to try and stop it would, would have made for a better film and then by the end of it because there's only two people on earth and it would have adding time to that end of the film would have either given it, make it made it more hopeful to give them time to undo what they did and send every all those demons back to hell or um they end up being the last two people on earth and they have to it becomes an adam and eve story and they have to repopulate the earth and as it turn and over the course of their lives together they could have the movie could have done something along the lines of 30 years later 20 years later they find a story 
where the Mayans had gone through the same thing. There were enough survivors, whether it's two or 20, where they moved, scattered across the continent and repopulated the species. So all of South America or all of North America or the Americas are the direct offspring of the Mayans rebuilding their population and the world. And that's why the doorways was locked. And that's what happened as as of that time. And that's why the Mayan calendar ended when it did or why they stopped projecting up to 2012 or 2020, whenever the Mayan calendar ends. So if you look at the ratings for Alone in the Dark, on Rotten Tomatoes, it has like 1% with the critics and like 3 or 4% or something like that, sub 10% with the audience. And it's because of things like that. The story doesn't really go anywhere. The acting is very one to two dimensional. The story doesn't really give you much reason to want to get invested or invest your time in it. And even based on the video games, having played really only the first one, there was very little detective work or lore or anything that really was presented to make the story worth being invested in so if i were to recommend this movie i would say don't watch it unless you just want a really bad um video game movie uh, or a movie based on a video game and comparatively speaking this movie actually makes street fighter look a lot better problems and all just because of how little i enjoyed the film i mean i got through it and i was like what did i really watch so I'm glad I kind of watched this movie first just because it feels like the worst of the movie reviews that I'll be doing this month. So, as I mentioned, it's currently streaming on Amazon Prime if you want to check it out for yourself there. And as I mentioned, it's only about an hour and a half, hour and 40 minutes long. So, um, watching it doesn't really take too much of your time or evening or afternoon, depending on when you want to watch it. So, that's really all there is for this review. So... If you want to get in touch with me, you can find me on Twitter at PatelN01. The website's PatelN01.com for past episodes, subscription links, supporting the show, and all of that good stuff. As far as reviews for the rest of the month, um, and if you did not see the post on Twitter, um, upcoming re- reviews include for the month include Doom Unrated, uh, mostly just because I haven't seen that edit, and I want to check out the extended point of first-person view of that they have in the movie, um, and then followed by um, Silent Hill and um, The Walking Dead um, um, season 10 finale, season 10 episode 16, I believe, that just released. So, um, <coughs> sorry. so that'll probably be my next one and then of course the final film review will be Resident Evil um, I have seen Doom um, but I don't remember much of it aside from The Rock being in it and Carl Urban I think uh, Resident Evil I did see back when it first came out around 2002 but I don't remember much about it I thought it was okay but because I'm not really a, I've never really played Resident Evil or Silent Hill for that matter I can't really say too much about it but um, I'm, pro- I'm going to try and read up a little bit and see how what they how they drew their inspirations for those films or which video games it was based off of. Alone in the Dark was kind of based off of Alone in the Dark four and five, but um, it didn't really feel like they brought, it inspired anything or brought anything besides little bits of the story, character names, and that's about it. So that's really all there is for this particular review. So if you have any questions, comments concerns or anything like that as I mentioned all the places of Patel N01 for Twitter Patel N01.com for the website but thanks for tuning into this particular episode and until next time